This is a Willits Point Shea Stadium bound 7 express train. The next and last stop is Willits Point Shea Stadium. Sleeping Forest says, I really want to take a flyer on Woodruff, which is uh, Brandon Woodruff from, uh, from, well, he was from Milwaukee and now he's uh, a free agent. Is this someone that, because he's going to be out all of next season, uh, he's got injuries. Is this someone you would pick up and kind of stash away and see if you can, you know, get anything out of him come the following season? Well, my understanding with Woodruff is that there's a chance that maybe he pitches, but for the most part, uh, 2024, you shouldn't really count on. Right. I think that's that's more or less his situation. Uh, but yeah, I think with the Mets, like you should be in the market for those types of players because theoretically, like that's where you can flex your muscle a little bit financially and like give this guy a little bit more maybe. And, you know, we saw that with Luis Severino for that matter, right? Where like they paid a little bit higher for the one year because they liked him and, and they think that, that he could recapture some previous success and he's young enough where you could think that think along those lines. And so we saw that and I, I see Woodruff in a little bit the same way where like, hey, flex, flex your financial might here and, and try to go for him. I covered Brandon Woodruff in Milwaukee uh, for, for a few years. And I don't know if I can name like, more than or you know I, I can't really name that many pitchers who i'd rather have pitch for me actually uh i i think that highly of him i think he's a huge he's just wow. a great competitor he's somebody you want in big games I, I like him a lot i think he i think he has some really good years ahead of him actually um i'm no scout i'm no you know i don't work in baseball <laughs> operations so whatever take that for what it's worth but you know uh, there, there's a lot to like there so yes i i don't know if Woodruff would be interested in New York. He's from a small town in Mississippi, and maybe as a free agent, he wants to go back to Milwaukee, or maybe he wants to go somewhere else. I don't know. Um, but I, I also think if he were to go to New York, it wouldn't be an issue. I think that he has that personality and that clubhouse presence where he just fits in wherever he goes. Uh, I'm just not sure what exactly he wants. Um, but you know, the Mets would be a good opportunity for him as well um, because they'd be able to pay him and. By all indications, they have the resources to help guys like that get through it. And so that's that's an interesting one. Um, and it's something where it's a risk reward situation with a nod toward 2025 when theoretically the Mets should be a little bit better even.